ਜੀ ਆਏ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ 18ਵਾਂ ਪੋਡਕਾਸਟ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਈਤਨ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਹੋ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਜਸਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਹਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਈਤਨ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੇ ਆ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੂੰ ਤੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੀਏ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਆ ਹੈਡ ਕਵਰਿੰਗ ਆਮ ਆਮ ਪੰਦਾ ਹੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਆ ਹੂਡੀ ਵਾਈਟ ਹੂਡੀ ਕਵਰ ਪੰਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਆ ਹੈਡ ਕਵਰਿੰਗ ਇਤਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਇਤਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਵੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਵੀ ਸਿਰ ਕਵਰਡ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ ਦੱਸੋ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਮ ਲਾਈਨ ਦਾ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ ਦੱਸਾਂ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲਾਈਨ ਬਾਈ ਲਾਈਨ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਦੱਸੋ ਬੋਲਿਆ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੋ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਕੁੰਕਾਰ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਵਨ ਆਮ ਕੌਂਸ਼ੀਅਸਨੈਸ ਵਨ ਗਾਡ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸਤ ਨਾਮ ਸਤ ਇਸ ਟਰੂਥ ਲਾਈਕ ਸਚ ਐਂ ਨਾਮ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਨੇਮ ਸੋ ਟਰੂ ਗਾਡਸ ਨੇਮ ਇਸ ਟਰੂ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਦ ਟਰੂਥ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਆਮ ਕਰਤਾ ਪੁਰਖ ਹੂੰ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਸੋ ਕਰ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਕਰਤਾ ਇਸ ਦ ਡੂਅਰ ਪੁਰਖ ਕੈਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਮੀਨ ਅ ਪਰਸਨ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਔਰ ਐਂਸੈਸਟਰਸ so here karta purkh is the creator god the creator being hmm anji hmm. karta purkh hmm. uh, nirpo nirvair ha so nir is means without so nirbhav bhav is fear without fear nirvair without enmity meaning no enemies no enemies yeah hmm. and no enmity towards somebody uh ajuni sabang so when you add a in front of a word in hindi and punjabi it negates it so juni jun is like a a lifetime so as you know in, in the south asian culture uh, there is a belief that you have many lifetimes your soul has to advance through by doing good karma and when you have learned your life lesson then you evolve to a stage called nirvana where you where you are out of the cycle of life and death so we're talking about what is god so god is juni is that lifetime so a juni god does not go through the cycle of life and death and sabhang means god is um in existence um uh by himself by itself um like self self sustaining and sabhang a guru prasad akal akal murat akal oh, murat hanji we missed that one akal akal murat so akal is also like ajuni kal means time akal means timeless murat is a portrait so he's a timeless portrait hanji mm-hmm. amrit ajuni sahib akal murat ajuni sahib hang sahib hanji oh so i missed it i think oh, we yeah the line before yeah yeah Let's um, say it again. Let's start again. Gur- okay. Ikumkar. Ikumkar. Satnam. Mm-hmm. Karta Purak. Mm-hmm. Nirpo. Nirvair. Mm-hmm. Akal Murat. Ajuni Sabang. Mm-hmm. Gur Prasad. So, Gur Prasad. Um, you know, uh, many of the texts uh, write it as, as like Guru's Prasad. Like you get a blessing from the Guru. Uh, mm-hmm. But I've also uh, read the meaning interpreted as Prasad as a blessing. And Gur Prasad. meaning like um uh, the being with innate abilities exceptional abilities so uh, god's uh, a, a being that has those exceptional uh, you know abilities within it Anji. like a blessing mm-hmm. gur prasad sad jap jap ad such such jugad such, such. Yeah. abhi such nanak hosi bi such 
So this being's uh, presence, in, you know, is, is in existence is eternal. And this was true centuries ago, you know, before time existed, and it will be true in the time to come. And mm -hmm. um, habi such, this was always true. So such means again true. This was always true. Nanak hosi be such, and Nanak says that this is true. So. Vadia, um, the. Um, How do you at the interpret the philosophy? Anji, at the poem, the naam Mool Mantra. Anji? Mm -hmm. Mool Mantra, the matlab samajaya? Ah, uh, misochya, Anji. Mm -hmm. Ki. The Mool Menuni Pata, but Mantar, mm -hmm. uh, Mantar, the matlab uh, doctrine, like, um, Synopsis text, Hanji. Um, yeah, you're close. So mool is like the root, the fundamental. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and uh, mantar, literal meaning of mantar is literally like a, a a part of a scripture that has a spiritual significance and that'll help you to achieve something. Okay. So in the culture, it'll be said here is a mantar, which could be a few lines, and they say repeat this x number of times, you know, in prayer. You know, like you will see people, even in other faiths, they'll have a rosary. And they say something, some special words, and they go to the next bead. So that those words that they're saying is like a mantar, right? Hanji. They're meditating on those spiritual words. So mool mantar is the fundamental doctrine, those root uh, words and scriptures uh, that Guru Nanak uh, sort of distilled out of his philosophy about God. Like, what is God? We often say that. And this is what Guru Nanak talks about God. Right. Anji, um, mm -hmm. I think that's why I really like the Mool Mantar, because like mm -hmm. the name implies, mm -hmm. or says, not, not implies, that it's mm -hmm. the root text. So I like how it's, how good of a job it does at mm -hmm. giving, like, I guess, uh, the main, the fundamental points that Guru Nanak mm -hmm. makes. Um, his essence, the essence of his philosophy. So, isn't he like Chris, crisp and crystal clear when he when he's yeah, describing God? <laughs> very much like you know, I oh. haven't ever found myself being like, oh, this is contradictory or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like he does, it it does a really good job just being like, okay, this is it. <laughs> this is what the the foundation, you know, the foundational blocks of my ideology is right here. <laughs> yeah, it, it never ceases to amaze me when I um, read them. And oftentimes in the Sikh faith, uh, these words are meant to be uh, repeated in the morning before sunrise, which we call Amrit Vela. And Amrit is mm -hmm. like that holy blessed time right before the sun rises. And, and part of it is because it's quiet time, it's stillness. And when you're quiet, your conscious mind and your subconscious are in complete alignment. And it's very rare to have that moment. Like you and I are talking right now, our conscious mind is active. Subconscious is quiet. But in that silence, when you say the Mool Mantra, you're, you're literally looking around and you, you still cannot see a lot. It's still dark because the sun has not come out yet. But you feel that power, um, you know, of this creation that you're a part of. That's how I feel. Should we go to the next party, Ethan? Yeah. Sure, okay. that one's also pretty good. Yeah, so. I, I like that one. That kind of is continuation um, uh, on pondering yeah. about the, uh, about God. That's how I look at it. So the first uh, one is Socha Soch Nahovi. So you want to say wait, that? Wait, wait. Yes, I will. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I have it all in my head. <laughs> the Gurdwara camps I went to over many summers uh -huh. <laughs> made sure it's in there. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Yeah. See, there was a purpose to it. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. The, okay. Soche mm. soch nahove. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say the meaning? Yeah. Yeah. J so the whole line is soche soch nahove. Oh, you want to say that? Okay. Yeah. No, I just want to so say that line. Complete the line. Je sochi lakhvar. So okay. the key well, word here I is thought we were soch. Going yeah. Line by line. Is well, yeah, that but the, the whole line? The whole so line I said only was, half of it? Yeah, yeah. 
Jay Sojil oh, okay. Lakhwar. So the key word here is soch, which you know the meaning of soch is to think. To think. So here Guru Nanak, he he's explained God to us, right? And then he says, soche soch na hovi, jay sochi lakh var. So lakh is a hundred thousand. Okay? So var, as you know, is times. And he says, you can think, you know? Uh, uh, and a lakh is just an example. Like It's kind of like we say a million here, no? So he says, you may imagine it a hundred thousand times, but you are not going to be imagined... You're not going to be able to imagine or create this God, this being's essence. Okay? Mm. All right. So let's do the next one. Chupe. Puki up. Or, yeah. Chupe chup. Chupe chup na hove. Jelai. Raha liftar. Liftar. Yeah. So again, the key word. Right. So the key word here is chup. You remember the meaning of chup? It's quiet. Quiet, silent. So he says, Chupe chup na hove. You may be as quiet as you can and you can carry on uh, as many rituals as you want. Uh, and he, he kind of, um, Guru Nanak was very big on mocking at rituals. Um, and he said, and what he means by that is many times people go on a silent fast and live is like that, the, you know, when you are in deep meditation like a trance. So he says you can sort of meditate upon the name of God in, in, in deep silence for as long as you want, you know. And yet your inner turmoils don't go away. You are still, you don't feel connected with God. So he's trying to give another example of how we try to feel God. Okay. So you want to do the next one? Yeah. So you remember the meaning of the word puk? Is it to eat? Pook is hunger. Anna? Oh yeah, hunger. Uh, like we say, I'm pook lagi hai, I'm pook ha, I'm pook hiya. So he says, a, a pook hiya pook na utri. So the na is, as you know, no. So he says, a person's hunger does not go away. Je banna puriya par, even if you have everything that you want, your hunger or desire to get more will not go away. So let's do the next one. Sehas. Sehes siyanpa lakkoi ta ikna chale naal. Yeah. So, Sayarna, Sayarna is a wise person. And uh, and again, he uses the word again, luck. You know, in plenty. So, he's saying, he's saying your logic, your intelligence, your wisdom, you may have it in plenty, in millions and hundreds. Ikna chale naal. Ik, as you know, is one. And chal is to go. He says, not even one will go with you to find this being. So, mm-hmm. you want to say the next one? Oh, <clears throat> give. Excuse me, sorry. Give such a give such a hara hoye. Give mm-hmm. pure to Nepal. Yeah. So give is like kime. He uses a short form of kime, right? So he's saying mm-hmm. give such a hoye, and such such a is the sort of a conjugation of such. So it's like a truthful person. So he says, how do we truth? How do how do we stay truthful? Kiv sachyara hovie, kiv kude to tepal. So where kud is the word for like, uh, uh, my grandma used to use the word kuda for trash. Okay, so the word kud is uh, all all things negative. Like we say, this is garbage. You know. So he's saying, how do we stay truthful? How do we lead an authentic life? Kiv kude to tepal when there is. When our circumstances have deceit, lies, all things good around us, then how do we stay truthful? And then he gives the answer in the next line. Hukam rajai chalana, nanak likya nav. So hukam is, uh, he uses hukam as God's word or God's will. Okay, So he says, the way to stay, lead that authentic life, to find that truthful existence is to stay within this universal law of God. Hukam, okay, and rajai is is comes from the word raza, which means when you are in agreement with God's will. So when you are in tune with God's will, hukam rajai chalana is to walk. Nanak likhya nal, and Nanak writes that lik is to write. So Nanak says there is no other way. The only way is to stay within this uh, uh, universal consciousness, within it. Hukam rajai chalana, nanak likhya nal. That's it. Badia. 
So, um, how do you uh, feel about this party? I like. I look at it as sort of like the first lesson from Guru Nanak. Mm -hmm. um, you know, after you get like this synopsis, like these are mm -hmm. the foundational elements, and then this is the first lesson, the stepping stone into all the other more advanced things, more detail that uh, is in the Sikh faith. I always feel like he's he's almost talking to us. I feel very connected to him um, when I read these lines. Do you feel that way? I don't know. I feel like it's like a historian telling me <laughs> that uh, this is, you know, this is what Guru Nanak said. Mm -hmm. Because especially like the last line where it says, mm -hmm. Nanak Likya Nal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I feel like it's being told to me. So like literally the opposite. <laughs> I think I read somewhere that these were the last uh, writings of Guru Nanak. So like I said, this is what's distilled out of his philosophy. But these are the yeah, first words really of the... And these are the first, this is what the holy book actually starts off with. So the, the starts mm. off with the first thing, what, you know, um, so anyway. His best teachings, right? The ones that he yeah. wrote last. Right, the, the, the juice of it, the fundamentals. So yeah. anyway, anyway, that was though. very good, Ethan. Um, you know, I'm glad we took the time to uh, read it, ponder on it. So Anji. good job. Bye with you. The mm -hmm. Anji Fir, I see podcast recording. Katame. The Bodhya. Bodhya, the to see um, comments. Uh, da to see interpretations, the mm -hmm. thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, Likda. Or Likda. Likko. Likko, Hanji. Mm -hmm. The Asi Parde Ga. Asi Paranga. Agli Hafte, Hanji. Asi Agli Hafte. Hanji, Agli Hafte. Fair Milange. Uh, so, Apna Kyal Rakyo, Tera Braka. Hanji. Sasri Kal, mm -hmm. Rabraka. Mm -hmm. Fair Mildeon. Fair Mildeon.